What's up guys? Sorry about the wind, a little windy today, but yesterday there was tons of people here. So today's the day I had to do this because I wanted to get a video out this week. Shoulder is still jacked up. I've started physical therapy. I'll give y'all an update on that. Um, and just how weak this arm really is, it actually surprised me. Um, so you're getting a truck video today and really it's a tire video. I told y'all in a video a few months ago, it was time for me to get new tires. I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to get. I thought I would probably go back with the Netto Terragraffler G2s, but unfortunately, they quit making a 35, 12, 50, 20 and a Terragraffler. They still make the Terragraffler, just not that size. So I had to go with a newer um, all-terrain tire. Let me take you off the tripod, show you what I got. Okay, guys, here it is. This is the all-new Netto Recon Grappler AT. Look how beefy this tread is. And these have 5,000 miles on them. I've already put 5,000 miles on these. So I can tell you a little bit about how they ride. I actually have already done the part of the video where uh, we're driving down the road. So we'll see that here in a minute. But the thing I really liked about these, and you see I've run up on something right here, uh, but look how beefy the lugs are on the sidewalls. That is one thing I did not like about the Terra Grappler. I thought the sidewall looked a little bit bare uh, but the, the Recon Grappler really makes these look beefy. There is a different sidewall um, on the other side, but this was the most rugged one that I had seen. And I really think they have improved the look of the tread. It looks more like a Ridge Grappler or something like that. Some huge lugs here. There is sort of a problem with this design and we'll talk about that um, here in just a minute. Um, but let me um, actually turn this tire out so I can give you a better look at the tread. Okay guys, here's a little bit better look at the tread. You can see the wear over 5,000 miles has been pretty good. This one was on the rear. Um, here is actually the other sidewall that you could choose from. And just look at this one, it may look pretty beefy, uh, but when they were off the vehicle and I could choose between them, um, this one actually looked a little bit more beefier to me. It was a little bit wider and just looked a little beefier. But this tread right here is just, is just deep. Now the problem with this is that the Terra Grapplers did not have. Water does not seem to dissipate from this as good as it did the Terra Grapplers. So like if I'm going down the interstate at like 70, 75 mile an hour and I hit quite a bit of water, the truck kind of wants to hydroplane a little bit. Whereas I didn't notice that as much with the Terra Grapplers. Um, it doesn't do it just running like 45 or 50 or something like that. Um, but when you get up 20, 30 more mile an hour and you hit some water, like I said, on the interstate, um, it jerks the vehicle a little bit and that was um, different uh, with the Terra Grapplers. They seem to go through water a little bit easier, a little bit more ease. So this just doesn't dissipate it. They, the Terra Grappler G2s had more of a square pattern. So I guess that water could get through it easier where this kind of has to go through the cracks to get out. So that was a little bit different. Also, um, in the video, when we do the drive here in just a minute, um, these are a little louder, even though they've only got 5,000 miles on them. I know it's that brand new. Um, you'll get to hear that in a minute, um, but they were just a little bit louder. Let me take you back here and show you the rear tire, because um, this was the one that was on the front. So you're going to get the most wear. You can still see um, there is some ridge right here. Um, so it didn't even wear down that little bit of ridge in 5,000 miles. You wouldn't think it would. You can see it all across all these. Um, I was curious about that and I bought them just how bad they'd wire because this is like a 60,000 mile tire. I think it's an F rated tire. Um, so I was wondering how bad that would wear, but really it's not hardly wore at all. Even in the curves of the mountains and stuff like that, um, it's really not done too bad. So uh, let's get on with the driving part of this and then we'll close out the video. All right guys, so here we are in the truck. I'm running about 68, 69 mile an hour. I don't know if it's picking it up, but it's whining. I mean, I can hear boom, 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 boom. It's definitely louder than my Terra Grapplers were when I first got the truck. And when I got the truck, they had like 13 or 14,000 miles on those tires because they put on right when uh, they got the truck in, they just went and swapped out the wheels and tires. And I think the truck, it had 13 or 14,000 on it when I bought it. So the tires were on it for brand new and uh, these sound about as loud as my Terra Grappler G2s did um, with 50,000 miles on dry rotted. Now, those were never like extremely loud. So even dry rotted, they wasn't like crazy, crazy loud. So these ain't 
you know, extremely loud with, you know, 5,000 miles on them. But it does make me wonder what they're going to sound like when they get about 20,000 miles on them. You know, I, I don't want a tire that's like, I'm, I'm not going to change them. They're $2,000 a set. I mean, let's face it. I'm going to wear these out. But it really kind of worries me a little bit. Now, there's a, the other thing you know, we talked about was whenever you hit like big puddles at speeds like this, it wants to get away from you a little bit. Now, it never has. I mean, I've always been able to control it, but it it's not the most stable tire I've ever seen at 70 mile an hour on the interstate whenever you hit some water. So just keep that in mind. Do I, I think it's a great looking tire, but there's a couple of things. The noise I can deal with, I mean, I can turn the radio up louder. The radio is usually loud anyway, because I usually don't hear that. Um, if you're on the phone or something using Bluetooth, you might hear it a little bit. There again at 20, 25,000 miles, I don't know how loud it will get. But right now, it's not a big nuisance. The water thing, eh, you need to be careful in that situation. Now, just driving, you know, 45, 50 mile an hour, like I was going to work or something, I've hit some puddles, not a big deal. Like I said, once I got up about 70, 75, that's when it got a little bit sketchy. I don't regret buying them. I like the tires. I think they look great. They ride really comfortable. I mean, I just had them rotated 5,000 miles, just had them rotated first rotation. They rode really good um, with the backs on the front. And now they ride really good with the front on the back. So they balanced really well. Some of them have quite a bit of weight on them, but they still balanced really well. And at 70 mile an hour, just as smooth as glass. So it's what you'd expect out of a Nitto tire um, quality. Um, but just keep those two factors in mind that I was talking about there a minute ago. Okay guys, so you heard what road noise it has. That is a little concerning because 20, 25,000 miles down the road, how much louder is that gonna get? Cause I'm sure the more these tires wear, the louder that is gonna get. So that is a little concerning, but at $2,000 um, for a set or a little more, depending on where you get them from, um, they're definitely not going to be replaced anytime soon. I hope to get 50,000 miles out of these just like I did the Terra Grapplers. The Terra Grapplers actually um, dry rotted. That's why I got rid of them. So maybe I'll get even more. Maybe I'll get the 60,000 because I think I could have got that out of the Terra Grapplers if they hadn't a dry rod on me. But I just didn't drive the vehicle enough back then to actually, um, I guess, keep those tires in good shape. They just kind of sit there most of the time. I'm driving it more now because I don't really have a secondary vehicle other than a Mustang, and that's not an everyday driver. Um, so I drive this all the time now, and that's why they have 5,000 miles on them already. Uh, but I don't regret buying them, even though there is a couple of negatives. I think it looks great. And there's one more thing I've got to tell you all about. Let me take you off the tripod. I got to show you this. I almost forgot this. Look how much room is in between that. My Terra Grapplers did not have that much room in between this body mount and that tire. And even when I turn it back a little bit, there is still way more room in between this tire and that body mount than there was with the Terra Grappler G2s. Now, I don't know um, why that is. This is the same size tire, 35, 12, 50, R20. It has bigger blocks, bigger tread. It concerned me. I even called Nitto to make sure these would fit. They say they are the exact same dimensions as the Terra Grappler G2s, but it is nowhere near as close to that body mount as the G2s were, even three quarters wore out. There's still more room between that body mount and this tire. So if you have a Tundra with a three inch lift, this is probably the tire you want because you can easily clear that body mount with no concerns at all. I had some concerns on the on the Terra Grappler, like when the truck bounced or something. I have no concerns with this when the truck bounces. I'm glad I remembered that part, guys, because I wanted to tell you about that. And I just happened to see this wheel turned in the video or in the camera, and I was like, whoa, well, I want to tell them about that part. So I'm glad I remembered that. I'll probably make a short about that just in case people didn't watch the video this far. But again, uh, I was concerned about these tires not fitting. These fit way better than the other ones did, to my surprise. I still run about 50 pounds of air in these. It seems to wear better. And my Terra Grapplers, I run about 50, 52 in them. And uh, they were great. But if I dropped it down to like 35, the outside edge worn those. So I tried that with these and it seems to be the same deal. Your truck may differ, but 
and it has to be a tire that can hold that much air. This one will hold like 65 or something. It, I, I'm well within range of the max PSI for this tire and it rides great at that PSI. I don't notice any real stiff bouncing or anything. So uh, maybe I'm just used to it, but that's what I'm running in these. And uh, so far the wear seems really good. Again, I don't regret this. I would buy these again. They ride really smooth, even at speeds of like 80 mile an hour. There's no shimmy, no shake or nothing. There is some extra weight on them, but discount tire really got that right in these tires uh, when they bounced them. So no regrets there at all. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I just want to let you all know the tires I got, how they're doing. I wanted to give it a little while so I could kind of get used to them. I didn't want to do a review of the tire like right after I bought it. I wanted to get um, you know a few miles on them so I could give you an honest opinion. Um, I'll give you an update when I get more uh, miles on these to see if that noise goes up or if I get any shimmy in the vehicle from tire wear or something like that. Um, I'll give you an update on that. But for right now, uh, the tires are great. I've run Nittos for a long time on this truck. Ever since I've had it, they're two thumbs up with every tire I've ever actually ever owned from Nitto. I've never really had a bad tire of them. I had the the Ridge Grapplers on my Jeep. Really, really like that tire as well. I started to get those for this, but they don't come with a warranty, and these did. I don't know what that's worth, but it made me feel better. Um, and this was a 60,000 mile tire, I think. So that made me feel a little bit better about this too. Uh, again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my best uh, to answer them. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Love you guys. We'll see you next time.